Hey, hey, we're here. This is part of my tournament. So this is round one, feature match between Reshef and let me make sure I get the name right. It says Thendi, but uh, it should be Thendi. All right, we're gonna spectate. We're gonna go into this. Very exciting, very exciting running this tournament. We'll see who comes out on top. Of course, it's Sky Strike and Mirror Match, kind of right. Uh, we'll see some interesting stuff, absolutely, from both of these players. Um, so of course, shout out to Reshef. I'll leave his information down below. He's a streamer. We'll react to this. I'll commentate over it. And then uh, good luck to both of them. Of course, Reshef's going to start up with Upstart. 1k Ray effect. Or summon Ray. This is live. Ray into presumably a blue Ray. Remember corners. That kind of matters. Not really, but we'll see. we got a highlight here, so... Maybe we'll drop an Imperm or something like that. Let's take a look. Hope everyone's doing well, of course. Please leave a like, comment, sub, all the fun stuff. There's the Imperm. Dropping the Imperm. So that means Blue Ray cannot search. It looks like Reshef won die roll, maybe. Or, I don't know. With Striker, you're more than likely to go second anyways, because you get advantage. So we got a set one and a two from Reshef. And phase, pass turn. Fairly solid, right? Nothing too crazy. Let's take a look from Tandy. Tandy, Tandy, Tandy. Very exciting. Uh, there we go. Look. We got mates. We got Ibl. Robo Ib. Sprite. Oh, harpies. Oh, no. <laughs> RIP. He's gonna chain Widow Anchor. Reshef's gonna chain Widow Anchor to Blu ray. Now, what, why would he do that? He's probably doing that so his Blu ray at least doesn't get taken by Bendy's Widow Anchor if he has one. So, we're gonna bluster both of these so we see Imperm and, of course, the Widow Anchor. Shiny one. Now, Bendy's down to four cards. We'll see what happens. Regeki. Okay, fairly interesting. Blu ray is gonna get bopped, presumably. Now, to be fair, uh, wouldn't really want to do that because if Ray resolves, you're going to be able to search. So let's take a look. What happens? Ray effect, yeah, absolutely. An attack mode by Reshef. Let's see what happens, huh? Ray's going to come out from Tendi. Yep. Let's see, now this is going to be very interesting depending on what they do and what Reshef's going to counter with. Right? Right, right. This is exciting. Oh, I hope it's exciting. <laughs> right, Striker, presumably when it's in the mirror, it's probably gonna last more than you know two turns, so it's not gonna be uh, instant out. But I see what happens. Tendi's thinking, thinking, going into Green Ray, Green Ray, opportunity for Reshef, opportunity for Reshef, presumably. Then he's gonna hit battle phase and either try to send a spell or Rosie O'Donnell. Let's see what Reshef decides to do. He's gonna attack directly. Reshef has a choice. He's going to chain Ray's effect. Let's see if Thendi has a counter to that or a response. Let's see what happens. Blue Ray. Reshef's going for Blue Ray. Okay. Looks like Thendi's. Ayate Green Ray is going to go through, attacking for 13. He's going to send. Let's see what it will send. Let's see what Dendi's going to send. Take a look. And guys, we're going to go for the greedy play. Hopefully, Reshef has an out to that. Main phase 2. So far, it's a lot of back and forth for the most part. Maybe a blowout card from Dendi with the Harpy's Feather Duster top deck. I don't know. Or I just drew it. We're going to go into Red Ray. Remember that if Red Ray is summoned this way, you can use Shark Cannon to resummon your opponents. So, we'll see if that resolves. Maybe Reshef has a counter. Veiler coming in clutch. Let's see if Dendi has a way to negate that. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. And Maxi. Ooh. Now Thendi's in a little bit of a dilemma. If he goes into Blue Ray, he'll be able to search a card during the end phase. However, obviously not any spells 
that are in the graveyard at the moment, so he can't search engage because well, it's already in the graveyard with Blue Ray. So let's see if Thendi's gonna just pass turn or gonna give Reshef an extra draw. Let's take a look. It's pass turn. All right, so Reshef, unfortunately, has to make one. Uh, and Blue Ray's effect, of course, gonna proc. Searching engage. That's fantastic. Looks like Reshef's a little bit of an advantage right now, depending on what Thendi can do. He's gonna draw a card. Let's take a look. A lot of options, a lot of options. Very simplified game state at the moment. Can activate engage. Let's see. Then he has a response. Or it's gonna go through. Take a look. Thinking. Oh, it's gonna go through. He's gonna search for a multi roll. Alright, he's gonna activate multi roll. What is that mystery card in Reshef's hand? Okay, he's gonna presumably go for Red Ray. Let's take a look. Yes, Red Ray. Gonna add back, probably engage. I see if Thendi has a way to negate that. He does not. Ooh, things aren't looking great for Thendi at the moment. Let's see. Well, we know that Thendi doesn't have an Ash in hand. Because obviously you would Ash to engage. He's going to go into Green Ray, not using engage just yet. Probably trying to get value out of the engage maybe by sending a spell with Green Ray's effect. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. He's gonna send afterburners. Okay. Now main phase two. Engage is gonna go down. Let's see what Reshef searches. He's gonna search for Widow Anchor of course. And draw an additional card because of three spells in Graveyard. And then multi roll can reset uh, a number of Sky Striker spells with different names depending on how many activated during the turn. And go into Blu ray. Let's see what Risha does here. He's gonna set one card, set another. Ooh, interesting, very interesting. He's choosing not to steal the red ray and sending it off with multi-roll. Very interesting, which to me means that Reshef is playing around even possibly. Or maybe he forgot I'm giving him too much credit. <laughs> right? I don't know. He's going to banish the ray, okay. But that means Bendy is now forced to go into green ray to send um, ray in graveyard if they want to. Or maybe they have another ray. However, then he does have three spells in grave. Remember a striker? A lot of things could happen. All you need is ray. And he has to play through a couple things. Widow anchors. Right? Presumably a shark cannon. Oh, just widow anchor. He does not reset the shark cannon. Interesting. So we can safely assume these are probably widow anchors. Let's take a look. Standby phase. Main phase one. Let's see if Thendi can turn this around, guys. Let's see if they can turn this around. Absolutely. Thinking, thinking. Play by play, right? Should I be more energetic? Like Thendi's thinking, thinking, right? Like those Spanish soccer announcers, right? <laughs> Gold. Gonna enter battle. All right. It looks like. And he's probably maybe going for that evilly match play, possibly. Let's see what Reshef decides to do. Go that, raise, and call it a day. Let's see. That's an end of battle phase. Let's see, evilly match gets dropped. Maybe this is the time to come back for Dandy. Yep, there's evenly. Let's see how Reshef reacts. Let's see what he does. And we're evenly matched. That's a, absolutely an option in this tournament. Let's see what Reshef chooses. Very, very uh, important to pick the right card. Well, for the most part. We'll see what Reshef chooses, though. He's going to banish everything. 
except this one face down. So, that can give us some clues, huh? He banished a blue ray, he banished multi roll, and presumably uh, another one. So, let's see, ray, I'd be summon, then you got the ray. Let's see what happens. Ooh! I wish I had a second person, right? At least a second person in a riff. <laughs> Take a look. He's going into. Oh, I presume a red ray. There you go. Red ray. Let's see what then he can add back to hand. The engage. Let's see if this is a widow anchor or imperm. He has to go for it. Then he has to go for this play. If not, then. Oh, Enveiler. Oh boy. Let's see if Thendi has a response. Now, Thendi can go into Blue Ray. Let's see what Reshef chooses to do with this presumably Widow Anchor. I don't know what else it could possibly be. However, I don't believe there's any way for Reshef to essentially threaten game. Unless, I suppose, he draws Engage or something like that, right? <laughs> and even then, you need Engage and Linkage. Let's see, Yellow Ray? Sure. Oh boy. How many is that? One, two, three, four. Why is he going to Yellow Ray? Is this the Pot of Avarice we're going to see? Yo, this is Pot of Avarice? That's wild. Dendi. Mad Lad. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's why Striker's fun, you never know. You can't believe it. That's incredible. Oh, they're gonna take a risk though. They gotta send the raid back, but they get to draw two cards, so who knows. Let's see what happens. Incredible. Come back. Reshef has one card. Is it the Widow Anchor? Let's see, 6,700 6, life points for Ruishev, 74. When you set one, is that the Widow Anchor? Oh my goodness. This is wild. Set two, another Widow Anchor, Imperm, who knows? Oh, I do know. <laughs> I've seen the deck list, right? <laughs> I want to spoil for the viewer. Let's take a look. Ruishev's gonna let it pass. Ruishev's gonna let it pass. Yuzuku is going to search for, Blue Ray is going to search for what? I suppose a Widow Anchor, maybe he wants to go for Shark Cannon to banish uh, Reshef's Ray, possibly. That's another option as well. Now it's become very, very dangerous. You're going to go for Shark Cannon to banish the Ray, presumably. Let's see if it happens. Or oh, just let it go. Oh, wow. Okay, makes sense. You see, Reshef's going to draw a card. Let's see what happens. Widow Anchor. Alright, Widow Anchor gotta steal it. Let's see if Dendi responds by chaining Widow Anchor. With his own Blue Ray. Let's see. Could be Imperms. Could be Call Buys. Who knows? What other back row this Cracker players play? It is Widow Anchor! Oh, wow. Oh, hey, maybe Risha drew another Widow Anchor, right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He banished one as we knew from there. Possibly two. And uh, we know. Uh, and so, let's see what's that card in his hand. Pass turn! Isn't that crazy? I thought like Reshev had it all, and then he's like evilly managed that pot of uh, avarice comeback kind for Thendi. He's us. He has all the all the gas. Let's take a look. Shark cannon, yeah. Presumably, let's see what they pick. Probably a ray or red ray, yeah. <laughs> See what they choose to do, especially summon or banish it. Remember that since Reshef did summon the red ray normally, uh, then he could go into red ray through, you know, um, the shark cannon, or at least Reshef's old red ray. So you don't have to waste your own red ray, if that makes sense. Engage, oof. Must have drew all into that, right? Oh no, it's over, huh? Depending on what happens. 
So you search for linkage, right? I presume you search for linkage unless Reshep has another Ash or oh, add Rose, cool. You draw a card. <laughs> I believe you can almost game depending on what you search. For example, you go into Green Ray linkage. I send Rose. That's gonna be 25. Red Ray is gonna add back your linkage. Your attack for 25. Another one. That's, I think that's almost game or pretty close. And that's not including whatever spells you have in a graveyard, right? So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven plus fifteen is twenty-two. So I think that was possibly game right there. If, uh, yeah, <laughs> if you went, if he went into let's say green ray to send rose instead, that's gonna be fifteen plus twenty-two is thirty-seven, right? Thirty-seven red ray. Yeah, red ray thirty-seven. Twenty-five plus that. Yeah, I think that would have been pretty close to game. Because that would be at least 5,000, right? From uh, Red Ray and Blue Ray, right? From Red Ray adding back the linkage. So, oof, Reshef. Reshef, Reshef, Reshef. See if we can come back. I think that was a missed opportunity for a game right there with Dendi. Let me know if I was wrong. <laughs> I believe so, right? Because 15, Sten Rose, um, linkage. That would be least 25 right plus 7 so 32 right 32 boom and another 25 that's absolutely game i think so it's okay we're on they they both know they're being watched by me maybe he's on pressure i completely feel that uh you know being in a feature match one time for like smash i was like choking so hard so i don't blame anybody if you misplay here and there you're on stream Is it exciting though? Let me know down below in the comments. Let's see what. Uh, then he goes into probably peak, right? There we go. <laughs> Obviously, do not use Zeke's effect on self. Oh my gosh, I called by. But why? I suppose <laughs> just why not, right? Red Ray. So there's no way for them to potentially come back. However, well, this shut down their Red Ray if they choose to go into that. And also, I believe they didn't go into Red Ray at all. Yes. Oh, then he didn't go into Red Ray. Oh no, is his BM? <laughs> Is this BM? <laughs> Dandy, Dandy, what are you doing? Don't BM the poor boy. Remember, it takes one card for Risha to come back. If this isn't a link, if this isn't a uh, auto anchor. Well, let's see. Oh, it could be a little anchor, could be imperm, who knows. <laughs> right. Let's see. Maybe Chef can turn this around. Takes just one card, just one card. And maybe Chef still has a Ngog. And deck. I believe. Probably banish two of his little anchors, so that's not good either. In starter, he's gonna search for afterburners. Right, calling as Rose is set up as well. Let's see what happens. Draw turn. Let's see. Did Reshef draw the out? <laughs> End phase. Oh, fuck. Oh, GG. That's probably it. That's probably it. Feels bad, Reshef. Well, no reason not to, right? You never know. You never know. See what happens? Well, I'm pretty sure then he has a billion ways to go for game, but... Let's see what they choose to do. Red Ray, remember that actually lasts one turn.
call by only lasts for one turn, so that should be live. <laughs> I'm willing to hope that was a misplay on their part, and not BM. Dank Dank Crow? <laughs> uh oh, SpaghettiOs? Can yeah, linkage? Sandy cannot finish off Risha. Remember, don't. That little mistakes can haunt you in the long term. Let's see what Sandy just chooses to do. See what happens. Let's see what happens. In a bit of a pickle, right? 23, 37. 100 life points or a reshaft. Let's see. Getting intense, right? Even though there's like no cards on field, right? That's why Striker's fun. You never know. You never know. A lot of opportunities. Oh, but battle phase immediately, okay. <laughs> See what happens. Are they out of blue rays? I don't believe they are. One? Is that another one? Two? They can go into another blue ray, but there's no... I mean... You should, because there's no reason not to. Because it's going to be 14, 15 anyways, and at least you can search something, maybe. Right? Ten phase. Oh, he drew the Widow Anchor! Whoa! Whoa, my goodness! Yo, well, I mean, you can just steal it, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> Depending on what Tendi has. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These are impermanents, they're not great either. Oh, laser infirm. Well, we know for sure that this is not a Widow Anchor. Because obviously, Widow Anchor, you would just steal probably call a game. There's no reason to do any of this extra stuff. But let's see. Imperm's gonna come down right now. Presumably, Imperm. Pres oh my goodness! Uh oh. However, um. Uh, Reshef does not have a ray in grave, and remember they have afterburners in hand, so I guess somehow I'll play around that. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> gonna add ray. That's a good idea. And draw another card, remember you can do that. He drew into engage? What? No, he added it back, right? No, he drew into another one. Wow. Oh my god. Yo! Better, Kevin. If, if, if. Wow. That's incredible. Rosie O'Donnell? Alright. See what Reshev got cooking. Remember, he has not normal summoned yet. Normal summon Ray, Rosie O'Donnell, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I see if he just does damage right here. That was extremely greedy. I don't know, I would have done that. For Rose and the Ray, I mean, now you. Oh my goodness, Dark Loomer, sure. <laughs> gonna go for Axis Code. If he has Axis Code and also Linkage in hand, that's Gam. Oh, here's the Emperor. No, well, I don't know, maybe it's not Emperor. Because obviously you would activate him the Red Ray. Let's see if it just drops the hammer right here. Oh my god, is he gonna do it? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! It's cooking! I see, he's gonna pop that. Maybe it's evenly matched, right? Because we saw evenly matched earlier from Dendi. Maybe it's just a bluff, who knows? Oh, except the afterburners! Oh my goodness! Let's see if he has it. Does he have the linkage net? Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't. Yo. 
See how things just turn around? Like, it's insane. Sky Striker, guys. So his deck's fun. See what happens. Sandy's thinking. Sandy is thinking. 21. Just takes one more hit from uh, Risha. Cyber Dragon! Yo! Playing Cyber Dragon. See, he's playing Chimera Tech. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Did he have the out? I see a Reshef has an Imperm. Oh wait, the, well, yeah, uh, original attack. Oh, Reshef. Reshef almost had the comeback. Got a little dicey for, <laughs> for then. <thinning. laughs> but yeah, that was a cut over match. Absolutely. Hope you enjoy that 26 minutes of amazement. Please look forward to more rounds like that. This is why Striker is great. I'm so glad this this is not ended in like two two minutes, right? <laughs> Tail of it mirrors, eat your heart out. Alright. Thank you to Risha. Thank you to Thendi. Hope you guys enjoyed that match. Uh, please look forward to round two. And then hopefully we'll live stream the finals uh, on the channel. Of course, thank you very much. Congrats to both guys. I know it's very difficult to play on stream and stuff like that, but... Uh, Hopefully we we'll look forward to more matches like this. See you guys around.